Crayfish are a relatively new addition to the aquarium hobby, but nevertheless, there are countless variations of these personable decapods. From the bright and beautiful, like the shark's pulcher, to the scientific anomalies, like the self-cloning marbled crayfish, there is always something for someone. Many new crayfish species are found or made every year, and thus, the crayfish collecting landscape is infinitely changing, keeping its millions of members ever entranced by their sheer attractiveness that never seems to falter. When looking to buy a crayfish, you may be overwhelmed by the huge amount of color and variation. I know I was when I was first looking for my crayfish. For experience, I believe the best way to narrow down your decision is to first decide upon the look of your aquarium. If you want your aquarium to have a dark substrate or to have muted colors, bright crayfish like the pink Sakura Clarkey will look beautiful and stand out elegantly against the dark backdrop. If you have other fish, decorations, or substrate that contain multiple colors, a crayfish with brown, tan, black, or other dark colors look better with that type of environment. Also, consider the size of your tank when buying a crayfish. Tanks should be at least 15 gallons large for any crayfish other than CPOs, as it is cruel to keep a crayfish too large in too small of a tank. Personally, my favorite crayfish are the Marbled Crayfish, Broken Bear's Clarky Orange Ghost Variation, and the Brazos Dwarf Crayfish. Crayfish are known for their hardiness and easy carrying conditions, which make them a very suitable pick for both newbies and those creating grand community tanks. First things first, crayfish need hiding spots, and lots of them. All crayfish, being arthropods, need to molt, and therefore require multiple hiding spaces to feel comfortable and safe when molting. The stress from a lack of safety during molting kills newly bought crayfish all too often. This is one of the very few requirements for keeping crayfish. As mentioned before, larger crayfish varieties need aquariums larger than 15 gallons, and smaller breeds can exist in any size tank. Specific crayfish preferred water perimeters are slightly different, but for the most part, they are as follows. Slightly hard to extremely hard water, 6.5 to 7.5 pH, 21 to 26 degrees Celsius water, you likely won't need a heater, 0 parts per million ammonia, 0 to 5 parts per million nitrite, 0 to 20 parts per million nitrate, and good water aeration. A filter is necessary for keeping crayfish, as it is for all aquatic pets. An air stone for water aeration is important if you do not have another form of aeration. Crayfish can live in planted aquariums, but they will frequently uproot and destroy plants, so proceed with caution if you wish to keep them with plants. Furthermore, they will also change the landscape of their environment substrate to their liking. Crayfish will eat just about everything they can get their hands on. Being scavengers, they will clean up the food left over by other aquarium creatures and can help to keep a healthy ecosystem. Individual amounts of food needed vary from cray to cray. The most popular crayfish feed are combinations of hickory, algae wafers, and crab cuisine, as well as various blanched vegetables for added nutrition. It is important that your crayfish gets enough iodide and calcium so they may have a healthy molt, and both of those can be found in those food items. Do not get too worried, however, as crayfish recycle their last molt's calcium by eating it. Iodide is more important because it helps greatly in their molting process. Never overfeed crayfish, as it will dirty the aquarium water and could possibly harm your pet. Having a crayfish in your tank is almost always a death sentence for other inhabitants. Slow moving pets are at an extremely high risk, but faster moving fish are likely to live for much much longer, as crayfish themselves are not very fast. Sickly or injured fish are by far the most likely to die, so don't be too scared of your crayfish catching your fish. And should they actually catch one, odds are it was gonna die anyways. Possible tank mates include guppies, platies, tetras, and garamis. Fish that absolutely cannot live with crayfish are bottom dwellers, goldfish, and cichlids. 
I encourage you to research specific tank mates for your breed of crayfish on your own, as some crayfish are more aggressive than others. Snails won't last a minute with crayfish. In fact, crayfish are known as the snail killers and are often put into tanks just to cull a snail population. Crayfish keeping is a very fulfilling hobby, and I am very excited for you to go down its ever-evolving path. For more information, you should visit the Crayfish subreddit r crayfish, join the Crustacean Discord channel linked in the description, or comment below and I will personally answer your questions with my 16 years of crayfish keeping experience. I truly hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, and the best of luck to you in your cultivating crayfish chronicle.